Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and my favourite anime is Attack on Titan. I love it and I'm so excited for the new series that's coming out next year. <laughs> well, it's been confirmed for next year, series three. I've read all the mangas and the next one comes out next month, so I'm very excited for that. If you like Attack on Titan, let me know down below. Today I'm going to be showing you the different things I do for my eyes and probably lips as well because I don't do much for my lips. I won't, I won't do a whole video for my lips. So like the different techniques I use for my eyes, also my eye brows just to give you some hints and tips hopefully that you know will help you so yes let's get into this So first of all, I'm not going to be priming my eyes in this video because I did that in the very first video, which hopefully you've seen. If not, go have a look. It will be not last week's, but weeks before. I always prime my eyes with concealer and then powder it when I'm doing my concealer for my base, just because it's a bit easier than doing it now. So my eyelids are actually primed. I don't know if you can tell. They're very pale and white. So they're primed, so I won't be doing that, but do prime your eyelids. It, it really helps in one, the colour of your eyeshadow. If you haven't primed your, it's kind of like start, you know like when you paint a wall? If you try and paint a wall with a colour, without a base colour, it just, it won't be its true colour. You know like a lot of people will put down like, the primer for like most paints, for like painting your wall, it's white. Because then your eyelid will be all one colour. I don't know about you, but my eyelids have like quite a lot of veins running throughout them. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of like an odd colour. If I put eyeshadow straight on top of that, it one, it doesn't show up as good, and two, it just, it's just not its true colour. So do prime your eyelids. It also helps your, your eyeshadow stay longer and stops it creasing. So I definitely recommend priming your eyelids because it, it just, it, it just really helps. But today I'm going to be doing what I do all the time because I'm good at it and I just I, I just love it. I'm going to be doing a half cut crease. I know I do this in almost every video, I'm sorry, but I'm just, I just love it. But I am going to be doing more of a natural one just because normally I base my makeup on what I'm wearing in the day, but I don't know what I'm wearing yet. So I'm just going to do a natural eye look just because it's easier. And I have like three, three palettes that I use. I used to have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Four, four. I've got five eyeshadow palettes, but I mainly use three. And I also have a few single eyeshadows, but I don't really use them as much because they're out there colours. The main ones I use are the Morphe 350, the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe, which is just beautiful, and my Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. Most eyeshadow palettes, you can create a natural eye look. Um, people would just be smashing their glasses outside while I'm trying to make a video. So obviously my number one brush I just love is my G17 from Morphe. It's just a normal fluffy brush, but it's so soft and it just blends out. My eyeshadow's like a dream and I love it. But recently I got this brush with an eyeshadow in my pit box. I think it was the most recent one. And it's from the brand Cougar, I think. It's really nice, it's double-ended and it's got a fluffy brush, but a smaller fluffy brush than the one I have. It's easier to like blend another eyeshadow on top without completely, you know, like covering it. This is really nice. And also the flat end is nice for packing on lid colors. So that's nice. I've got my E18 from Morphe as well. And this one is like a crease brush. This is good for deepening my crease and I also mostly use it on the outside of my lid when doing a half cut crease. And then I've got my Morphe B19. It's real dirty at the moment, I'm sorry. And this is a concealer brush. It's a flat, small concealer brush. And I use this for carving out my crease, which you've seen me do many times before. Those are my eyeshadow brushes. They're the ones I use. I really suggest, I highly recommend those, but I suggest having at least a blending brush, like the first one I showed you, and a flat brush to pack it on your lid. Everything else is just, it helps, but it's not necessary. But yeah, those two brushes are necessary for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna show you today, just on this eye, my, the way I do like a natural half cut crease. I'll also do a bit of eyeliner for you, and maybe put my fake eyelashes on. I've been a bit funny with fake eyelashes recently, I don't know why, but you know, I'll show you how to do that as well. So yeah, so I've got my eye primed. So when you do your eyeshadow, you wanna start with a transition color. If you're doing a natural eye look, so like browns and stuff like that, then it will be, or it should be, at least a shade or two darker than your skin. We do transition colours because if you start with, you know, a dark colour or just the darkest colour you're using, then you're going to see this harsh line and it's going to be harder to blend it through. It just makes it harder to, to make your eyeshadow look like, you know, seamlessly beautiful. So, you know, if you're doing like a, a purple eye look, I would suggest using a shade one or two darker than your skin, but if you don't want to do that because you don't want to add a brown in or, or whatever, then that's fine. Get the lightest purple you can, use a, a small amount of it and do the same thing. But, you know, this is what I usually do. So I'm going to be using the third shade here, 
in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I get a bit of that on my blending brush and the thing with eyeshadow as well is the first part of your eye that you place it on it will be the darkest so really you want to be putting it on the out outer part of your eye first so you place it here and blend it through another really good tip for doing your eyeshadow hold your utensil hold your brush at the end because then it makes it you know a bit softer whereas if you hold it like down here it's going to be hard and harsh so you want to hold it as far away as you can and just be soft with it just be gentle and also try and like try and use circular motions really blend that through rather than just going back and forth if you go back and forth it's just gonna you know it, it just doesn't work as well can't tell you why <laughs> It just doesn't. So yeah. So it's, it's not that, you know, it's not that much of a big difference, but it will help blend those other colours through your eye without having that harsh, gross line. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So that's your transition colour down, and obviously it's not that different, as I said, but it's going to help, trust me. So then I'm going to go for a slightly darker colour, and this is what you want to do with your eyeshadows. You want to do a gradient, you want to gradually build up to the darkest colour that you'll be using. If you go from this colour to a dark one, again, it's just going to look harsh, it's not going to look natural, it's not going to blend as well. You need to do a gradient, you need to, you just need to work with the colours you got, okay? So the next colour I'm going for is the one right next to that. I'm going to do a very similar thing by starting on the outer corner, blending my way through. And the trick with eyeshadow is to just to just blend. Like, I know that's obvious, but I kind of do so many insurance blends. Like, right now, that's fine. But I will carry on blending. Just just, just so I know that it's 400% it's blended and I don't... No, I have no excuse then. If my eyeshadow looks shit, it's not because I didn't blend. It's just because I'm shit. So you can see now I'm kind of deepening up those colours. I'm just going to... Do the same on the other side. So these colours are, you know, really building up now. And I'm going to hop over to the Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to take this colour in the 350 palette. This is a bit darker than the last colour, but also a bit warmer. And this is so, it's just, again, I'm going up in gradients. But I want to make my eye just look a bit warmer. I don't want it all to be so drab. So I'm just using the same brush and the same technique. So as you can see next to the other eye, it just looks a bit warmer and not as, you know, dark and shadowy. So the next colour I'm going to use, I am going to swap brushes. And I'm going to go to that smaller one that I'm, I have. And I'm now going to jump over to my Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to go into Puree, this one. I'm going to do the same thing, but not go as high as the rest of the colours. So again, I'm just starting in the, you know, the outer kind of blending it through and I am gonna stick with these darker colors just on the outer because there's not really much need to go any further in and I'm just wiping excess off on my trousers and in I'm just gonna blend here just so there's not a harsh line you know just using circles just to make sure it it's blending properly rather than just back and forth hello and then I'm just gonna use my big fluffy brush again like I said just insurance blends and I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. And now, with my crease brush, I'm going to go into Charmed on Shore. And this is the darkest colour I'm using. And that's why I use all these other colours to build up to it. And I'm going to stick this solely in my crease. My outer crease, really. And then what I like to do is take all the excess off of that. And again, just blend it with circular motions. And this just deepens the crease, makes it look a bit more natural. I will be using that same colour on the outer bit, but I like to do that after I've done my lid colour, because otherwise it just gets lost in the, in the lid colour. So I'm going to cut my crease. <laughs> crease. And to do that, I'm going to be using my B19 brush that I showed you and my Tarte Shape Tape. And I do normally cut this out, but I'm going to keep it in just to show you how I do this. So basically, I pick up a bit of concealer on the brush, but for the, in, in, for the initial line, I try not to have too much on there. And then what I do is I look at the natural crease that I have, and I go slightly above that. So I create this faint line and then try and fill it in. This is really hard about looking in a mirror. So the reason I go slightly above my natural crease is because when I open my, if I did my natural crease, when I open my eyes, you can't see that line I've just created. I feel like that's just a waste. I'll try and go slightly above it so that when I close my eyes, you can still see it. I'm gonna pick a color to put on my lid. Picking a color to put on your lid isn't as important as the other colors we did. However, I do suggest, you know, not going for like a bright blue because it will look a little bit odd. But if you wanna do that, that's fine. That's your that's your choice. But I prefer with looks like this, with like, you know, like a natural like brown eye. I'll normally go for like an icy color or, or something like that. Today, I'm gonna choose this color in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And that's because these shimmers in this palette are so good. You know, like a lot of people will spray their brushes, which you can if you want. You can spray it with a setting spray or, you know, just water or whatever. But these ones are just so good that you don't need to. So I'm gonna pick up that color. 
And then the best thing about brushes like this is the edge is also circular. So then you can follow that line you created, get right up to it. And then, like I said, I'm gonna go back into the crease color, which is Charmed on Shore from the Sweet Peach palette, and just put it on that outer lid. And that is like the favorite way, my favorite way to do my eyeshadow. For my underneath, I don't do as many colors, but I will pop down the very first color I did. And I'll do that like up to my tear duct. And then I'll kind of use just like a mixture of the other colors, if I can remember the ones I used. But like I said, I tend not to use all of them because it's not as necessary. When I do get to the darkest one I used, the Charmed I'm Sure, I do it from like here outwards and join it. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow done. I'm gonna show you how I do my eyebrows and you can do your eyebrows however you want, okay? But I have recently been doing this like natural brow look just because I just love like a nice messy brow. Basically, I make sure my eyebrow pencil is sharp and I draw little fake hairs throughout my brows, especially at the front. And then I brush it just to make them look a bit more natural. And then I just get a brow mascara, is it called? And I'll run this through too. Making sure all of my brows are coated. Like that, and I know they look a bit crazy at the moment because they're all stuck up, but when it's a bit dry, I do kind of brush it down a little bit. I've got some on my skin, that's annoying. But that is how I've been doing my brows recently, just because this is how I like them to look, so yeah. So next, I'm gonna show you how I do my liquid eyeliner. I'm not gonna lie to you, even though like I would say, you know what, I'm quite, you know, I'm all right at makeup. There are some things that I, I am either really, really good at or just crap that and it changes all the time and it, like I said earlier about fake lashes how I might do it I don't know at the moment a lot of the time like I'll just be really good at things and then just one day I'll just be like why can I not do this and the other day I tried to do my liquid eyeliner and it just did not go as well as it usually does so if this doesn't look as good I apologize I think I'm going for a stage with liquid eyeliner I used to be so good at it but I try and do the flick parallel with the end of my eyebrow and when you do your eyeliner you want to go up and not out because it's gonna drag your eye down. You want your eye to be kind of lifted. This will make you look more awake, more aware, and it just looks better. If you do it out like this, or down for whatever reason, it's gonna drag your eye down, you're gonna look tired, and your eyes are just gonna look smaller. So I'm gonna do that first line there. And then I get the brush on the end of that, and do it towards my eye, like that. And that's how I kind of start the wing. And then I just do a small line across my eye. Like that, colour in the wing, and then I try and sharpen that wing. And obviously you can do these as thick or as thin as you like. If you're not great at eyeliner, I really recommend the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It's The, the brush is just so thin, it's really easy to use. Yeah, that actually looks really, really good, I don't know how I managed that. And you just want to use your eyeliner and get as close to your lash line as you can, just so there's no like gaps. So that's my eyeliner, I'm actually really happy with that. I don't know how it came out so well, considering. Yes, so I don't think I'm gonna do fake eyelashes today just cause, like I said, I do have to go soon. It takes so long and I've just not been good at it recently. If you want, if it's really an issue, then please comment down below and say that you really do want me to do some fake eyelashes and I will do it in a different video or just in the next video I'll do, I'll quickly explain how I do it. I'm just gonna put on some mascara and what I like to do, I use eyelash curlers and what I do is just curl my lashes. I can't tell you how to curl your lashes, it's just, you know, you curl your lashes. And for some reason these eyelash curlers always take away my eyeliner, but it's fine, I will put that back. And then I'm gonna use my Tarte, I think it used to be called Lights Camera Lashes or something like that, but it's been rubbed off. And then what I do is rather than do the whole of my lash from root, I do the bit that's like, I do just after the curl. So like the, the tips, the ends of my lashes. And this is just cause I find that when I curl my lashes and then put mascara on, the curl just drops. So I'll put a thin layer of mascara there and then I'll wait for that to dry and then I go from root to end. When I do my natural makeup, so like I don't even wear like, you know, foundation or anything. I do curl my lashes and then just do this, just because it looks a bit more natural. I'm just gonna fill in that line. I also like to use NYX's Jumbo Eyeliner in Milk on my lower waterline. And this is because it makes my eyes look bigger, it makes me look more awake, more attentive. And then I'm gonna put a bit of mascara on my lower lashes, using the same mascara. And then I'm gonna take, real quick, I'm gonna take the second color in the Jaclyn Hill palette, my inner corner and below my brow bone. And then I'm gonna put some mascara on again. This time I'm gonna use, bought the small Better Than Sex from Too Faced mascara. I'm still kind of testing this. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I'm gonna use this. 
that's my eyes. I'm just gonna give my eyebrows a little brush down. So what I do is I just follow the top and lightly brush them down. I'm gonna really quickly do my lips and then finish my eye look so I can leave. But you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. Even though I've got like, you know, a thick black line of eyeliner on this eye, this eye looks bigger than this eye because of the white and because of like my lid. So I think I'm gonna go with a red lip today, because why not? So I'm gonna take my MUA lip liner in, I think it's called like something about, yeah, plum, brooding plum, and line my lips. So the way I line my lips is I do my cupids bow first, and I like stretch out my lips so I can see the line fully. So that's my top lip, and then my bottom lip. So that's how I line my lips, and then, Pretty easy. I'm just gonna use my gosh lipstick in grape. I just run across my lips. And although I line my lips, it still went outside. I'm aware that I look really silly when I put my lipstick on. So just ignore this eye for a minute. I would love to finish it and show you on camera, but I, I need to do it really quickly so I can go. I should really be leaving in like five minutes, but it's fine. I'm loving this. So yes, that is how I do my eyes and my lips. Again, I hope I helped you. Comment down below anything I did that, again, you haven't tried before, that you might try, or something that I did that you've tried before and just didn't really work for you. Let me know things that, you know, you think would help me or, or other people. Just, you know, let's just have like a little chat down there about everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.